Did you tell the Viscount about your beasting? <sighs> I got stung. Oh, I was wondering if we'd meet again. So you might discern if my wit is acceptable, my man is genteel. But you were eavesdropping. It was hardly an effort. I am well. Oh. Take issue with my requirements? I take issue with any man who views women merely as chattels and breeding stock. <laughs> Ah, you're smiling. The mallet of death. Is this yours? No, no. You're welcome to. You near threatened to beat me the last time I touched that. You exaggerate. Oh. See, my plan to win you over is already working. I was smiling at the view, which you are now blocking. <laughs> Viscount Bridgerton, yes. When you manage to find this paragon of virtue, whatever makes you think she will accept your suit? <laughs> are you the superstitious sort? I know some men cannot perform without their familiar tools. Like a child with a blanket. Oh, you brought your dog? Yes. Newton is an excellent judge of character. Oh, see? Are the young ladies of London truly so easily won by a pleasing smile and absolutely nothing more? So you find my smile pleasing? I can play perfectly well with any mallet. I wish you the best of luck. I find your opinion of yourself entirely too high. Your character is as deficient as your horsemanship. I shall bid you good night. Mark my words, Miss Sharma. By the end of your stay, your opinion of me will be much improved. As well his. This is your house, my lord. It does not signify. Perhaps it should. Must you always? How many? You are the one insisting. Wait, this is you compromising. Oh, good night, my lord. Can you ever just agree? Three. I did not think you such an optimist. Since your schemes to manipulate me are now out in the open, I suppose it would be an improvement indeed. Miss Edwina, I was hoping to call on you this morning. My I... sister is well aware of everything. But, but I promised my five. family I'd join them for breakfast. Better go fetch them, unless you would like to quit here and now. Absolutely not. Oh dear. The ladies are without. We are perfectly content, thank you. It is an unseasonably hot day, and any gentleman would make sure. Miss Edwina. Allow me to fetch a lemonade for you. You'd best hope your play does not hand victory to my brothers. Or we should never hear the end of it. Well, you would be magnanimous in victory, I'm sure. Lumley seems to have got lost on his journey back from the lemonade stand. I am happy to search for him. We could pluck them out. No one would be any the wiser. But I would know. It was the Viscount who insisted on refreshments. Perhaps he might go. We're the race set to begin. <laughs> so. You do have honour, then, at least as far as sport is concerned. That and the fact I suspect you would loudly advertise my cheating the moment I stepped out of line. Nectar, really? Yes. I have a feeling about him. A feeling? <laughs> Pardon me? There's nothing for it, then. You simply chose the horse everyone else has chosen, quite a feeling. I made a strategic bet. Oh, so you have considered your horse's temperament as well as the conditions of the track. Your play, my lord? Unless you do not wish to dirty those fine boots of yours. Do not worry about my boots. Nectar is a prize Perhaps steam. we should find a little more shade. Nectar ran well at Doncaster, but that was a firmer course. The weather was much cooler, thus his size was an advantage. Today, the track is soft and it is hot, meaning he will struggle to make headway, overheat and slow down during the final leg. Highflyer, a much swifter, lighter, cooler horse at the victory. You think too much about it. Indeed, you little. Help! Just pull. I am trying, it is stuck. Would you want my help or not? <laughs> it is not amusing. I did not say it was. Before. Beating you feels the same as any other win, but somehow smells sweeter. Kate! You're enjoying your victory lap? <laughs> oh, You'll not be afforded such an ample head start this time, I assure you. I believe I <laughs> underestimated you, Michelle. 
That seems to be the theme of our acquaintance, does it not? Did you know Kate is an excellent shot? Of course she is. <laughs> Apologies, Viscount. You appear to be late again. We were just bringing the evening to a Surely Miss Edwina has time for one more. Did your maid know you were riding astride? I have no maid. Ah, then you're married. Forgive me. Would everyone like to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. Kate, tell him how you used to shoot all the time. Miss Edwina. <laughs> Kate is being modest. Do you not think it true? She may be free. Ah. After December. Unless, of course, she was on her honeymoon by then. <laughs> Perhaps your sister aimed straight on the field. But surely she would have some trouble managing. Why would you assume I had any trouble managing at all, my lord? Did I say something funny? I believe you did. I worry about meeting strange men at parks at dawn who fail to leave me alone with all of their questions. Your secret is safe with me. I shall not tell a soul. How grateful I am. I only mean to say... Because I am a woman? No, no. I did not say that. But you thought it. Losing races to strange women in such parts at dawn. I can only imagine the questions I will be asked. Does one not need actual competition for a race? <laughs> Ladies do not hunt. Do not or are not allowed to. I am... Um... You could say that if we had decided on a finish line together, but alas, we made no such agreement. Ah, I see you are not one for losing. I shall have you... I bought a gift for Miss Edwina. Take your Trojan horse elsewhere. I assure you, Miss Shama, this is a very real horse. I'd not recommend trying to climb inside. We've not yet been introduced! I'm afraid that is not possible. Not when I have a victory lap to enjoy! <laughs> the business with Mr. Dorset was not so gross a deceit as you imply. And now you question my judgment. Only because you question mine. Right, we've all picked, but left the mallet of death. For me! Oh. <laughs> Never mind. If we find nothing, I shall offer myself up for your target practice. Very well. Do you know that was your turning toe? It absolutely was not. Is your dog? Oh, and yours through marriage. I do not recall ever making such an agreement. Ah. From the moment I saw you riding alone in that park, it was obvious the rules are meaningless oh, to you. You and your rules. That is between you and him. He does not listen to me. I believe I do. That horse is a character from a novel. A novel of love, in fact. Something for which my sister is an enthusiast. The other morning. When I was stung. After which you put my hand to your bosom. To show you I was unharmed, you were overcome. Indeed I was not. You cannot be here. Miss Sharma. This is I... my place of refuge. A closet. Yes. I suppose that means they are cutting out. No, 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 no we're not, not cutting a out. Unless you want to take this opportunity to return upstairs. You have to. I yeah. require no instruction. Just hold it. And admit defeat? Never.